Okay, I'm here with Daniel and we're doing a tutorial on Windows Server and Windows Client and logging in to your domain versus logging into your local computer, right? So he's got his computer over there and what we're going to do is I'm going to go down here and I'm going to get start uh, and I'm just going to connect to his computer remotely by running remote desktop, right? So I'm going to do this. I'll move this back over here. All right, that looks good. So here's a remote desktop. I've put in the IP address of his Windows 7 client, right? And I want to connect to his domain. Now, um, first of all, I have to make sure that I've got a connection to his network, which I was able to ping successfully, right? So in other words, if I opened up a command prompt, I should be able to ping at least the gateway of that network, right? which I was, right? And notice, let's see if we can ping his client. And it seems like by default, Windows 7 does not respond to pings based on the firewall, I guess, the built-in firewall with Windows 7. And Windows Server doesn't seem to respond to pings either. So you're not going to get that kind of a connectivity test by default. So anyway, let's see though. I'm pretty much sure that we'll be able to con connect him, connect to him. So we're going to put 192.168.100 and we're going to hit connect and we're given a security screen which says um, how do we want to log in? Now, this is the interesting part, right? So two choices here. When you're logging in, right? I'm going to hit use another account, right? If I want to log in to the local computer, the Windows 7 client, right? Not log into the domain then I need to put in the name of the PC, which in this case is Daniel-PC backslash, uh, backslash, and then his username, which happens to be Daniel, right? And then I can put in the password, and this will log me in to the PC. This will not log me in to a user on the domain, right? So if I want to log in to the domain, then I'm going to say, no, no, no. I don't want to log into the local PC. I'm just a user. And I'm going to log into, let's say, Daniel.local, which happens to be the domain name that he set up on his Windows Server 2008 R2 machine. He set up the Daniel.local domain, right? And he's got a user on that domain that he created named Daniel, right? So I put that in there, and I put in the password, right? And I click OK, and you'll see that I'm able to log in Let's see here. We're waiting for it. There it is. I'm logged in. And, well, we're not seeing the desktop. The desktops don't seem to always transfer across remote desktop very well. But, anyway, I'm logged in now to the domain, right? And you can see, if you look here, student Daniel is the username of his user on his server, right? The username that he created was called student space Daniel, right? So I'm logged in as student Daniel right here, right? So that's one way we can tell, right? Now let's try that again. Now this time I'm going to close out this connection, right? And this time I'm going to do the same thing, right? There we go, remote desktop connection. I'm going to connect to his client computer. Except this time I'm going to say, instead of logging into the Daniel domain, notice Daniel.local got shortened to just Daniel, right? And the username Daniel, right? And the username for logging in is Daniel, but his full username that he created on his domain was student space Daniel, right? Which would be like first name, last name, or something like that. Anyway, I'm going to hit use another account, and this time I'm going to say I want to log into Daniel dash PC, that's the local PC, right? And his username is a little confusing, but it's also named Daniel. So we'll put in the password and we'll log in, okay? And you'll see that we also log in, except this time you can see that we've got this icon here on the desktop, which we didn't have before, I don't think. Maybe we did, right? And then this time if I go to start menu, you can see the user is no longer student space Daniel, which was the user on his domain, but the local user on the local computer. 
So right now I am not logged into the domain, I'm logged into the local computer. So once you've created your server and you've created users um, on your domain, you also have to be careful when you're logging in of how you're, just how you're logging in. Are you logging in to the local computer or are you logging into the domain, right? And if you're logging into the domain, if you're logging into the domain, you're going to preface it with the domain name instead of, if you're logging into the local computer, you'll preface it with the PC name. If you're logging into the domain name, you'll preface it with the domain name, which I'm giving the example of right here using this remote desktop connection, right? So notice that is going to log me into the PC, right? This daniel.local backslash daniel, that will log me in to his domain. And there is a difference.